will suppress one's enthusiasm. And so maybe one of the reasons why many of you sit so unenthused is because you're so saturated with fear. I've been panning and the, the crowd, I've been looking out amongst us and I'm watching you. I'm watching how many of you are sitting deep freezer-like, sub-zero-ish. Amen. See, fear will suppress one's excitement. But, but little sister Anna Sean said to us that, that you don't have to fear when you have the promised presence of the Lord. But you got to learn how to follow instructions. A amen. And one of the first things the Lord says to Joshua to say to the children of Israel is, follow me. Amen. Lord have mercy. Amen. Keep a certain distance, but just follow me. Amen. amen. Thank you, Riley. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for reminding us that, that, that when trouble comes, that when unheard of situations show up in our lives, you, you've not passed that way before, but don't, don't, don't lose your mind. Don't, don't freak out. Don't, 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 don't crawl up in some corner and, 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 and soak your shirt with your tears. But just know that you have the promised presence. If nobody else shows up, baby, you need to know the Lord is there. If your friend won't answer your call, they won't return your emails, they won't respond to your text messages, they won't, they won't respond to you, that's all right. You have the promised presence of the Lord. Ain't that good news? Ain't that good news? That's, that's good for whatever ails you, baby. That's, 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 that's good news. Amen. What an antidote. Hmm. Thank you, Sister Anna Michelle.